So welcome back and today is going to be our first lesson in non-destructive toning. So before up until now we've been doing destructive toning and not that it's a bad thing. In destructive toning you are making an adjustment and it instantly applies it to the image. It's just a quick easy way to work. Um, as far as like editorial it's kind of the ethical way to work. But today we're going to be using non-destructive toning and in this you make an adjustment layer. So you have your image and then you have your layer and it's separate from your image all right um, if it's on top it's being applied to the image but you can also turn it off you can go back at any time and change it um, you can control the opacity you can really control a lot of stuff in non-destructive editing so hold on I'll show you how black hides white shows in non-destructive editing all right here so we have this image just uh you know, something simple I had uh, to use to kind of go over this. So today is going to be the first lesson of series number two. And this is what we call non-destructive editing. So non-destructive meaning um, as we make an adjustment, it is not actually being applied to the image. It is its own separate layer and it will not ever be applied to the image if you don't tell it to. Um, you can flatten an image um, and then all your adjustments are applied at once. But basically what's great about it is is you have the ability to turn it on or off at any point, to go back in and adjust it at any point. And best of all, if you make 50 adjustments, they are just 50 different layers but never actually applied to your image so you're not losing image quality by constantly juggling your data or your information around so next question how do we make a layer adjustment and so there's three main ways um, the first way obviously would be go to layer new adjustment layer and then you will see just like we've been using before we have brightness contrast levels curves and down so on so anything that you see here you are able to make an adjustment layer with so I will simply do curves since I usually work in curves and uh, it gives me the option this way to give it a name but I'm not going to I'm just going to hit OK. And we can see now, here's our original background image. Here is our curves layer. So let me drag this properties over here so we can see. So before when we were hitting Command M, um, and let me go to the background layer, we were getting the dialog curves box to come up. When using an adjustment layer, it shows up in properties. So it's the same thing. Um, it's just showing up in properties and we can make this a little bit bigger all right so it's a little bit easier to see and so that looks good and so I will just purposely make this really bright so we can see what happens once again I'm not showing you how to tone I'm showing you how to make an adjustment layer so if I over exaggerate it it's a little bit easier for you to see so now if I turn this on and off we can see the adjustment layer so notice it's its own separate adjustment um, and I can change it at any point so that was going from layer to new adjustment layer and then picking one of these you can also go into your layers palette and down here in the bottom you'll see this little half moon if you click on it then you can come and make a different uh, adjustment so this is the second way so in this case we will do how about solid color all right so we will make it red and we'll make sort of an amber color and hit ok so notice i've made a solid color since the color is a solid color it's 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 over top of everything else we did it's taking so um i can come in here and change the opacity of it and then it's only 34 percent um, and if I decide that I don't like what I did, I can always turn that on and off. 
The last way is the adjustment box and that is once again in the windows and you go to adjustments and this is pretty much what I use mostly because it's easy and so in this one we'll do hue saturation so hue saturation I get this here and let's say I want to get rid of all my blues so you can see we have no blues in there actually uh, how about we get rid of yellow because I know yellows in there so we got all that yellow we're gonna get rid of all the yellow so we've made a new adjustment layer by getting rid of all the yellow and this time we use the adjustment box really you should just pick one of them and use it there's no sense in using all of them um, I think probably the adjustment is probably the easiest but feel free to try them out and use whatever you want so you can see here we have three different layers all right the background is still exactly the same this is just an adjustment right layer it's just applying what it would look like this is saying hey if you do this this is what it will look like over top of that and layer order is very important within Photoshop so as you change your layer order your images will change so if we put this solid color over the hue adjustment we can see now we've got this back again. If I hit Command Z and put it back, now it disappears. So we can see that layer adjustment is important. So I'm gonna move this back up. So the, and this is the trick with adjustment layers. And because it is something that you do not normally do, and it doesn't really make any sort of logical sense, it can be sort of confusing. Um, instead, you can still make selections to apply um, uh, an adjustment to a, a certain section of the image, or you can use this over here, which is a mask. So notice it is white right now. White means that you see it, all right? So it's showing this adjustment, all right? I'm going to hit command I and you're going to see this color fill white go to black. All right. So black means it hides the adjustment. All right. It's just a mask. White is showing the adjustment. Black is hiding it. All right. So if we just want to see this adjustment in where the horses are, all I need to do is take a brush. Let's bring this up take the color white because remember white is going to show it and I can just paint it into this section so now you'll see this mask right it white is showing this adjustment black is hiding it so it, it don't get confused it's just white is hiding so let's say I messed up right all I need to do and this is what's great about layer adjustments is it you can constantly change it so I messed up here all I could do is hit black and go in and paint the black away and I mean paint in black and the adjustment goes away so if I mess up here I'm gonna hit the command X which is gonna flip these colors and I can paint it back in so black hides an adjustment white shows it all right black hides white shows it takes a while to get used to, um, but that's how that works. So let's go to revert, and we're going to do something a little bit different here. So I'm going to make a curves layer adjustment. I'm going to brighten it up. That looks good, right? So we see white. It's, it's applying it everywhere. If I hit Command-I to hide it, it's, it's, it's hiding it. So the adjustment is still here. It's just not applying it anywhere. So if I want to apply it to specific spots, like these horses, I can just go in here and paint it into the horses. All right. So and I'll turn this on and off so we can see them get darker, get lighter, get darker, get lighter. So now we're making a selective adjustment by using a mask. So I'm just going to dump this away. That doesn't mean you still can't make selections. You can. And so if you make a selection, and we'll just do these, this little bit here. So now I've made a selection. You can make a selection however you want. 
if I come in and make an adjustment layer, notice it automatically makes the mask for me. So now when I brighten it, um, and I'll brighten it up too much so we can see, it, it makes the mask. Now, you can still go into the mask and change it. So right here, well, if we zoom in a little bit, we can see I kind of went over a little bit. So let's hit X to make our foreground color black because black hides. And so now I can kind of touch up that mask and make it better. All right. So if I wanted to apply the mask by making it white, I come up here. Notice I'm applying that adjustment up in the sky. If I hit X to make it black, now I come up here, I can paint that effect away. So that is the key to making a layer adjustment and that works for anything that is available um, up here, which is most stuff that you're gonna use. Um, so what you need to do is kind of get used to using it. You can either make a selection and then make a layer adjustment or you can make a layer adjustment and then paint in your mask. Um, I just do whatever is easy for that specific task. Um, sometimes I do make selections, sometimes I don't. So go ahead and try it. Hopefully this is helpful and get used to white shows, black hides, white shows, black hides. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on social media, and watch a suggested video.